In this quick dissection, I want to demonstrate a few superficial structures which are normally neglected. We can see this vein which is forming on the dorsum of the foot. It starts as a dorsal venous network and then becomes known as the medial marginal vein of the foot. And then it runs in front of the medial malleolus and becomes known as the long venous vein. And we can see the long venous vein is running on the medial side of the leg. It runs all the way on the medial side of the leg and then it goes behind the knee, one palm width behind the knee and then it runs on the medial side of the thigh and comes all the way up in the thigh and then it comes to the femoral triangle where it pierces the saphenous scriptiform fascia and goes through the saphenous opening and it opens into the femoral vein. So this is the full course of the long saphenous vein. This long saphenous vein is one of the very most important superficial veins in the human body. This is used for coronary artery bypass grafting. This is used for veiny section and this is also prone to varicose veins, which is a very important clinical condition. This is a still shot of a patient with varicosity of the long saphenous vein. While we are on this topic of long saphenous vein, I will draw your attention to this nerve, which is running with the long saphenous vein, and you can see it very clearly here. This is the saphenous nerve. This is the longest cutaneous branch of the femoral nerve, and one of the longest cutaneous branches in the human body, and this is the only branch of the femoral nerve which goes outside the thigh. This runs from the thigh through the adductor canal and it runs with the long saphenous vein. This nerve supplies the medial side of the leg, a little bit of anteromedial and posteromedial, and it continues and it also supplies a little bit of the medial side of the foot. So this is a very long cutaneous branch. If there is any injury or any surgical procedure or anything which I mentioned earlier on the long saphenous vein, a little bit of extravasation of blood or otherwise can produce irritation of the saphenous nerve and can produce tingling paresthesia or numbness. This is the saphenous nerve which I, which I have lifted up here. The next structure which I wanted to show you was what is known as the pes venous. This is the sartorius. And we can see the insertion of the sartorius on the upper medial side of the tibia. I have lifted it up. The next tendon that I have lifted up here is the gracilis. Sartorius belongs to the anterior compartment, gracilis belongs to the medial compartment. And finally, not visible in this, but a little bit of the tendon is visible here. This is the tendon of the semitendinosus. So when I lift all these three tendons up and we look at them, we find that they form a common insertion which looks something like the foot of a goose. This splayed out appearance of the insertion of these three tendons is referred to as the pes and serenus, sartorius, gracilis and semitendinosus. This is a still shot from another dissection showing my hand picking up the three tendons, sartorius, gracilis and semitendinosus. These three insertions counterbalance the insertion of the iliotibial tract to the anterolateral tubercle of Jerdy. And this is the um, two structures which are located one on either side of the tibia. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below. Dr. Sanjay Sanya, signing out.